Yeah. yeah. So in uh, today's class, we'll be seeing about uh, three problems, three different types of problems uh, using the formulas uh, what we have already seen. So at the initial stage, we will be recalling the formulas uh, with respect to all the generators, transmission line, transformers, followed by the tra uh, load. Okay, we'll be uh, refreshing all the formulas and afterwards we'll be getting into the problem. So at the uh, initial stage, uh, At initial stage, first for calculating the per unit values with respect to your uh, generators, motors, and transformers. So this is your formula. So this is uh, with respect to your uh, reactants. OK. So this is the uh, same for impedance also. This x can be replaced with your z to get your impedance value. So reactants per unit. Uh, new that is uh, we, we have a uh, essential scene about uh, that equation okay how we can uh, just uh, so the equation is uh, over here so z per unit for your first bus that is the bus uh, new bus will be equal to z per unit of your old into k uh, voltage of your uh, old bus divided by that is a uh, a kilovolt okay so kilovolt uh, voltage of your uh, new bus the whole square then into your power uh, component so over here the same formula they have given for your uh, impedance okay next coming with, with respect to your transmission line so for your transmission this formula changes okay this formula changes here uh, we won't be uh, considering any uh, of your uh, old value of uh, voltage okay so this will be entirely based upon your uh, uh, new values only okay so the impedance will be equal to actual impedance divided by okay actual impedance or reactance divided by uh, voltage whole square into your uh, power component okay next coming for your load with respect to your load your uh, per unit value of new will be equal to actual by your base value. So this you already know. This is the thing what you have, uh, what I have already told you. Next, if you have, if you need uh, with uh, respect to the power com uh, power component, this base value you can write like this. Okay, this base value can be written like this, and you can find the actual value. That, in the format of uh, your line voltage so uh, that is uh, your line voltage square divided by your apparent power so this is, uh, we are talking about uh, three phase components we are talking about uh, three phase components okay so you just uh, recall with this uh, formula so this first one is for your uh, generator motors and transformers okay and the second one is for your transmission line and the third one is for your load okay so you just note it down and uh, we'll be moving towards the problem so this is the problem so the problem they're asking is a three phase a three phase generator with ratings okay a three phase generator with the uh, ratings of 1000 kVA. So they have given the power component. So this is your power component. And uh, coming to the voltage, the voltage component is 33 kV. So this is your voltage component. So basically, it is nothing but your line voltage. As it's uh, armature resistance, so we are speaking about uh, generator. So generator will be having armature resistance RA and synchronous reactance, okay, synchronous reactance as 20. So this will be, you can take it as XA, okay, as 20 ohm per phase and uh, 70 ohm per phase. 
okay uh, so your ri is 20 ohm per phase and your xi is 70 ohm per phase so the impedance value what you'll be get is z a will be equal to or is it actual will be equal to ri plus j into x a so which will be generally equal to 20 plus j into 70 ohm per phase so this is the thing they have given over here okay so what they have asked to find to find to find per unit impedance value they have asked you to find the per unit impedance value so how we can find the per unit impedance value for that initial stage what you need is your base impedance so the formula over here is for the per unit impedance value you can get just like this per unit impedance value is equal to actual impedance value divided by your base impedance value so this is the formula this is the main formula and uh, with respect to this you have already got your actual impedance value you already got the value of your actual impedance value now we need to find the base impedance value so this base impedance value formula is that so they are uh, using the power component with respect to the power component the base impedance is zp is uh, voltage square divided by your apparent power so which is equal to uh, vb the whole square divided by mva okay so here what happened is that uh, uh, this you have to apply it okay so you have to apply the value of uh, 33 uh, kv square so here they have given in terms of your kilo volt so you have to apply that uh, over here so you'll be getting 33 to 10 power 3 the whole square will be getting divided by divided by the power component what we have seen 1000 kva so which is nothing but uh, you can also write that as here in terms of ma how you can write means you can write it as 1 mva okay so for as per the formula the representation over here must be in mega okay it should not be in kva if it is in kva means you have to convert that into mega okay so if you are uh, putting that formula over here means and if you are calculating means you will be getting the value as 1089 as your base input sir this base value is for three phase only no sir because yeah, we are taking yeah. 33 kv sir we yeah yeah it is for three phase but uh, actual impedance we calculated for per phase only no sir we have to multiply by three yeah they have given for uh, per phase uh, okay uh, there is some discrepancy i think uh, just a minute i'll be go throwing it uh, So you just uh, take your calculator and just uh, see through it. Uh, it'll be taking a few minutes. Okay, I will just uh, refer with that uh, afterwards. Okay, uh, why there's a discrepancy? Uh, why we are not uh, multiplying with the factor of uh, three? I'll be just referring and saying. But uh, now I'll just continue and uh, I'll mark it as a question mark as a, this problem. So over here uh, uh, they have considered uh, for a single phase. Okay, and uh, here they'll be taking this 33 square. So this. Then what happens this 33 to 10 power 3 and over here it, it will be 1 MBA. So what happens is there comes 33 square divided by sorry into 10 power 6 divided by 1 into 10 power 6. So 33 square will be getting 1089. 
But with respect to the per unit value, uh, I hope so. The difference is that uh, we'll be considering the per face value only. Okay, I will just uh, refer to that and I'll be coming back to you again. And uh, if so, if they are considering only the per face uh, quantity, then what happens is that uh, it will be it will be equal to uh, actual divided by base actual divided by base so you have already got your uh, actual value impedance value divided by the base value so the final uh, per unit uh, representation is like this okay so generally we'll be putting 20 divided by 1089 You'll be getting around this value, and if you're uh, putting 10 divided by 1089, you'll be getting this value j into uh, j 0.064 per unit. Okay, so I got some some idea about uh, this first problem. So, we just uh, take uh, two minutes uh, for go through this problem. Balance. So I'm back. Uh, so over here, uh, the main concept uh, is that, uh, as uh, he asked, uh, the explanation is that. Uh, so over here, it is a three-phase system. 
So as I said, uh, uh, for your uh, per unit analysis, you are just normalizing the entire system, right? So you are normalizing the entire system. So it is just a ratio. It is uh, just a ratio. So with respect to that, uh, when you are uh, considering a three phase quantity, generally what happens is that you have to put, uh, you have to consider the three phase for both your uh, actual impedance as well as for your base impedance. Okay. Yes, sir. So at that time, what happens? Uh, the three three gets cancelled out. So generally, per unit is nothing but a normalized ratio. So you have to have that. Sir, in sir, I told that thousand eighty nine itself a three phase quantity, sir. So we should multi. We should either convert uh, that uh, actual impedance to three phase, or else uh, the base resistance by root three, sir. Thousand eighty nine is a three phase impedance, sir. Because uh, we we have taken VB square by no man, uh, it is a single phase impedance only. Sir, actual impedance is single phase, sir. Whereas uh, base impedance is three phase, no, sir. No, over here we have calculated for a single phase only. This base impedance is calculated for single phase only. Okay. Uh, if you need a three phase, you have to multiply into three. Okay, sir. Okay. So, okay, we'll be moving to the next problem. So, this is the another one model. So, over here, what they have given is that uh, they have given a, a three phase system and uh, the system is having a transformer. The system is having a Transformer. So over here, the transformer is of uh, delta star type. It's of delta star type, and the rating of this transformer is uh, 100 kVA. Okay, the rating of the transformer is 100 kVA, and uh, at the primary side, the voltage is 11 kV, and at the secondary side. The voltage is 400 volt. So this belongs to a step down transformer because the voltage rating is a step down from 11 kV to 400 volt. Okay. And uh, over here, this has a primary and secondary leakage reactants. Okay. The reactants only they have given as uh, 12 ohm per phase and 0 0.05 ohm per phase. So now you have to calculate the per unit reactance for the transformer. So as per this, the per unit uh, reactance for the transformer, the formula is, uh, you have to consider this formula. Okay. So over here, uh, you already know the equivalent circuit of uh, your transformer. So over the equivalent circuit of a transformer, it is uh, possible to uh, refer the transformer with respect to the primary winding and secondary winding. So we will be finding the uh, per unit value in both the cases. But the thing is that uh, even if you are finding for uh, both the cases, the per unit value will be the same. Okay, The per unit value will be the same. Uh, if it is uh, getting different means, if you are getting different kind of uh, value means, then you have to uh, check your problem formulation method. Okay. So over here, the reactants uh, here they have given the formula. So it is given by actual reactants by your base, impid base impedance. So for the actual, with respect to your primary, so this is the formula. So you might have studied in your uh, equivalent circuit of the transformer. So with respect to the uh, primary side, you will be always uh, dividing your uh, reactance value by your turns ratio. Okay, but at the same time, in case of your secondary, you will be multiplying with the turns ratio. Okay, 
if you want to uh, just uh, refresh your uh, electrical machines uh, one so there you will be seeing so first initially you have to find the turns ratio for this the turns ratio is k will be equal to v2 by v1 okay v2 by v1 so turns ratio will be getting us 0 0.0364 and after getting the turns ratio substitute the value over x uh, actual and you'll be getting the actual value as 12 plus 0 0.05 by 0 0.0364 the whole square so you'll be getting the actual impedance around 49.737 ohm for per phase okay and uh, now you got you know the actual value as well as you know the value of your base impedance sorry uh, you know the line voltage so we are representing the per unit as x actual divided by kvb the whole square into your power component mv a b okay so now we have to you know the value of uh, line voltage so the line voltage at the primary okay the line voltage at the primary is 11 kV okay it is 11 kV so generally uh, over here it is MVA A, okay so it is uh, the power rating is over here is uh, 100 kV A so it becomes 0 0.1 MVA and uh, the MV value that is uh, the voltage here it will be around into 10 power 3, sorry, 10 power 6, and overall here also it will be around 10 power 6. This gets cancelled out, and uh, finally you will be getting 0 0.0411 per unit. Sir, sir, but this formula is for transmission line only, no, sir? Yeah. yeah. Here they have taken for transmission over here, right? Yes, sir. This formula uh, you are given it for transmission, line, but they have asked for transform. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, here also another one discrepancy is there. So I also thought the same. Um, Okay, we can see through. You just use this formula. I will just clear it out again. Okay, so so now we'll be moving with the respect to secondary. So for the secondary, it is uh, the difference is over here. Okay, for, while finding your actual value, and another difference will be in finding your uh, per unit, the voltage. The voltage what you'll be using is around uh, 400. Okay, so here the x actual what you will be uh, calculating is around will be 0 0.0659 because here it will be k square into 12 plus 0 0.05. The k value what you have found over here can be used over here, and after this, uh, the per unit uh, is. The voltage value alone you have to change and here also we'll be getting around 0 0.0411 per unit okay so two problems we have seen so in the two problems also there are some confusion so i'll be just clearing it out okay we are not uh, using that formula over here we'll be i'll be saying okay so we just uh, Go through this problem and I'll be coming back to you again.
So okay, next problem will be moving on, and uh, you just uh, read the next problem. You'll be getting some idea. So this is the problem, and this is the simple line diagram for this uh, problem. So you have to entirely convert uh, this network into a uh, impedance uh, reactance form, reactance diagram. You have to draw the reactance diagram for this uh, network. So okay, uh, I hope uh, we can uh, go move through it. So as he asked, uh, 
So why we are not uh, using uh, the other formula, what we have uh, seen with respect to the generator. So in the formula section, you just uh, don't uh, be more specific uh, towards the equipment. OK. It is, uh, I'm just saying it, OK? So here they have, uh, it might be somewhat confusing. So the thing is that uh, you have to see the component what they have given in the problem. OK. So here, the second uh, question, they have given with respect to the actual reactants. They have given you the reactants value per phase. Okay, they have given with respect to the per phase value. But in the third problem, if you're considering that uh, they won't be having any kind of uh, per phase value. That is uh, with respect to the reactants uh, per phase, they won't be given. They will be uh, indicating with respect to uh, your per unit value, okay? I'll be explaining. There'll be uh, here. There'll be with respect to per unit representation. They'll be using and uh, here they'll be having the actual uh, values. They'll be giving directly in the question. Okay, so don't get confused uh, with this uh, formula. And uh, based upon the parameters what they have given the question, you just select the formula. Okay. So as they have given x actual in your uh, second question, you can go for this formula. OK? But if they are not giving uh, x actual in your uh, question means, you can move towards this formula. So this is the main thing. So now we'll be moving uh, towards the uh, third problem. So here, the system is uh, having a three-phase generator, three-phase generator for 300 MEA. So they will be just giving you the question al problem alone. It is uh, you who have to draw this uh, single line diagram, OK? So this three-phase generator is having a reactance of 20%. As I said, they will be giving the reactance value in terms of percentage only in your in this third problem. But in the previous problem, they have uh, given with your actual value. So as they have given with the actual value, we can go with that formula. So here, the generator sub is uh, supplying two synchronous motors. Okay, the it is uh, supplying two synchronous motors through a 64 kilometer transmission line. So here they have given the length of the transmission line to be 64 kilometer. Having transformers at both ends. So this entity is uh, 64 kilometer. So it is having uh, two transformers at each end and uh, It one is of uh, delta to star and another one is of uh, star to delta. Okay, so in the transformer uh, one is a three phase transformer and transformer two is a three single phase transformer. So here's this is the difference. So this is a single three phase transformer, whereas this is coupled of three single phase transformer. So hence you'll be getting three into hundred MVA. So which is nothing but your 300 MVA, okay? And uh, the transformer rating is 100 MVA, 127 bar, 13.2 kV, okay? And uh, it is having a 10% reactance. So the series reactance of the transmission line they have given us 0 0.5 ohm per kilometer. For a single kilometer, it is 0.5 ohm. So they have asked to draw the reactance diagram. So in order to find the reactance diagram, you have to find the reactance uh, uh, in per unit for each component. OK? So here, the last point is a very important point. There are nearly 
one two three four five five equi electrical equipments in this uh, single line diagram and uh, there raises a question that which electrical equipment that i have to select as a base value so you have to select the generator rating as the base value in most of the cases you have to select your generator if they are not uh, giving uh, you the value if they are not giving you this uh, sentence, gener uh, generally you have to take the generator as your reference, base value. Okay. So here coming to the, we'll be starting with the transmission line side. So here in the transmission line side, it is of uh, 64 uh, kilometer, right? So this KV new, that is uh, voltage, is given as 20 into 230 by 20 so which is nothing but the formula so i think uh, i'll be stopping with this uh, question and uh, I'll be having a review in this uh, problem and I'll be coming with you again uh, in the next class, okay? So it will be easy for you.